Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wa salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa washabihi ajma'in amma ba'd. And the Khalif for all crimes. Within the Islam says there is no concept in the Caliphate of a pardon for crimes committed and where a subject has been surpassed. As it is in the West, the West Constitution allows the President to pardon all crimes except impeachment. Article 2, Section 2 says that the President shall have power to grant reprieves and pardons for offenses against the United States, except in case of impeachment. This gives the U.S. President full judicial power in out overturning court rulings or even preventing prosecution from taking place. The most famous misuse of this power was, was by Gerald Ford in 1924. After Richard Nixon resigned from office due to the Watergate scandal, his vice president Gerald Ford assumed the presidency. From the revised address to the nation on 8 September 1974, President Ford gave Nixon a few and unconditional parole for his part in the, in, the, in the Watergate scandal, hence preventing any further judicial proceedings against him. Pence claimed that this was a corrupt bargain between the two men. Nixon would resign giving Ford the presidency in return for Ford giving Nixon a full pardon. Most recently, Donald Trump pardoned four Blackwater contractors who massacred 14 civilians in Baghdad in 2007, including two children. Three of the contractors, Paul Slope, El Evan Liberty, and Dustin Hard, were assisted to that year in, in 2014. Most recently, Donald Trump pardoned four Blackwater contractors who massacred 14 civilians in Baghdad in 2007 including two children, three of the contractors, Paul Slough, Evan Liberty, and Dustin Hard, who were sentenced to a few years in 2014, and the fourth Nicholas Slayton was sentenced to life. All four are now free after Trump pardoned their crimes. This is the reality of democracy and its main and its man made judicial and exclusive branches. Such a judgment can never take place in the Caliphate. This is an extract from the book Accountability in the Caliphate by Abdul Karim Nawel.